kind of stuff. Next, Karen is going to make our cultured buttermilk because that's what we'll need to make up our cultured butter. Now, I have to say, ever since I made my uh, first vegan butter, I'm totally addicted. Mm. I love it. It is. It's delicious. It's absolutely delicious and it looks like real butter. <laughs> But also it behaves better because it's like margarine. You take it out of the fridge and you can spread it beautifully. Mm. So how good is that? Fabulous. Yes. All right. So you've got one cup of uh, cashew nuts measured out. Yes. That's right. So you can put that into the cup for the blitzer. Well, next Karen is going to pour the one cup of water kefir in there to help blitz up the cashew nuts. And perhaps a little bit of our filtered water, that's two and a half cups there, but we won't measure everything because the cup won't be able to take all that water. All right, so now we'll put the lid on and prepare to blitz it. Now these are unsoaked natural cashews. There's no need to soak this one in advance. Just get the cloth and line that over the strainer. And pour the contents through. And you'll find there's a little bit of residue left behind in the cloth after squeezing. And you can add the remaining of our two and a half cups of water. Because in total that will make three cups of cultured cashew buttermilk. And you'll be surprised at how good it tastes. Because I've got some for you that I've made previously, Karen. I'm going to let you taste it. And in fact, it's been in the fridge for quite a few weeks now. It keeps because it's gone lactic. It's got its own preservative. Nice and milky? Yes. Looks just like the almond milk, doesn't it? Let's see what's left in there. There's a little bit more. Yes. A bit like the almond milk, wasn't it? Maybe mm -hmm. the almonds. That's lovely looking cashew milk. Wow. Beauty. Okay, now you need to put it in the jar. Perfect fit. So that's three cups of milk. Just put the lid on. And we'll sit that on the bench next to our culturing cheese, spreading cheese. Uh, at least uh, 48 hours, but you can taste the tartness, the sourness as it develops. And here's some of our previous made by the milk cow cow, and I'd like you to have a sample of that. I'm sure it'll be quite acidic by now because it's been there a few weeks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's pretty different. amazing, isn't that? That's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's all because of the organisms from the water kefir. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Mm. I love fermenting. I know. And it's <laughs> so good for you. It is, it is, yes. We need all these lactic bacteria big yeah. time. Yeah, in our gut. Yeah. All right. Well, that's um the process to make the buttermilk and we have some that was prepared a while ago and we're going to use that to make our butter.